Hey folks, good evening, it's Journey Again 6, your Malaysian Natural Beauty, and I'm laying in the bed, um, just wanted to bring you guys this video because I've been laying here thinking, um, this video is not going to be long, it's going to be very poignant though, and I just have a message to send to all of those people who are out there with COVID, and not really protecting themselves or being safe for the rest of the world or the rest of your community or the rest of your family. Um, yeah, I, um, this new variant, it's no joke. It's no joke. People are dying left and right. They were dying left and right from the first one, from COVID-19, uh, the novel uh, coronavirus. But this one is is a lot more contagious, and it is deadly. So, oh, I got to style on my eye. Oh, I got to do something about that. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is... Um, guys need to take that seriously if you don't want to get vaccinated for god's sake please 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 um wear your mask i know you guys have heard that a million times but one reason i'm saying this is because you know a lot of people are out there with feeling that they're asymptomatic I don't know how many of you all know this, but I actually had COVID. I was uh, diagnosed as COVID positive on New Year's Day. So, I felt okay. I was feeling like, okay, I don't have many symptoms. All I had was a runny nose, no fever, no cough, no congestion, no shortness of breath, no, um, no, sense of, no loss of sense of taste or smell, um, but I just had a great deal of fatigue, a lot of fatigue. Well, I want to tell you guys, so I was pretty much asymptomatic, quote unquote. Um, yeah. Anyway, after I, um, quarantined for the 10 days that was required for me as a healthcare worker, and I went back to work. Um, I had already gotten my first vaccine the day before I was um, diagnosed with COVID. Uh, the second one I got, I think, 45 days later. Yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, like I said, pretty much I was considered myself to be asymptomatic. Well, I didn't feel all of those other um, problems, you know, that I listed. I didn't feel none of that. But after I recovered, I started having heart palpitations. And they were serious. Um, I, they were serious enough for me to go see my doctor and... Um, have him run a series of tests. I even had to wear a heart monitor for a week. Um, it was a small one. It was I taped it to my chest, and it was digital, so it wasn't the one that most some that some people wear and have to put it in their pocket. It wasn't like that. Anyway, um, yeah. So we found some problems. Um, the palpitations that I was having. I was mostly having when I would go to bed and when I was resting. And I was diagnosed with non-sustained SVT. I'm sorry, yeah, non-sustained ventricular tachycardia. Um, I had runs of 17, 18 beats. And I'm just laying there, you know. Um, my doctor ordered an echocardiogram. My ejection fraction is okay. But I still have, you know, I do have non-sustained ventricular cardi, cardi, tachycardia, sorry. 
um, as a as a diagnosis now. I did not have that before COVID. So the one thing I do know about COVID is that, yeah, we may think we're asymptomatic, <clears throat> excuse me, and we may think that, you know, we're good. We're, we're out of the woods once we do our little uh, quarantine and we feel better. But COVID is a tricky little devil. COVID will attack a system and render that system impaired. So just to give you an example, I do have a lot of chest pain, um, a lot of soreness in my left chest where my heart is. Um, and it's nothing that I had before COVID. So COVID did attack my heart and did a number on me. So I'm just saying this for all you people who think you're asymptomatic and you're out there uh, having a good time, just chilling, having fun, you know, uh, hmm. be careful. You never really know what COVID is doing on the inside of your body. And this COVID that's that's out now, the Delta variant, is highly contagious. So my advice to everyone is to, if you're afraid of taking the vaccine, don't worry about it. Don't get, don't take the. I'm not I'm not advocating vaccine. Well, I do advocate vaccines, but I'm not telling you to take one because I took one. You know, yeah, and you might say, oh, well, you took one and you still had COVID. I tested before I took the vaccine. My results came back after I had already taken the vaccine. So that was the order of how, you know, of what happened to me. I am a healthcare professional and I know exactly how I got COVID. I know the moment I caught COVID. I was actually helping one of my um, one of the patients at my job, and he coughed in my face. Um, I had on a surgical mask, and I had on my regular glasses. That was before um, N95s and goggles were considered um, were mandated. So. Yeah, and I, I knew at the moment he coughed on me that I was I was in trouble. But you know, I just I just thought I'd you know give you guys um, just a bit of uh, info, just to think about. You know, I'm so disappointed in. Seeing some people I I know just take so much for granted. But anyway, you guys, just a little food for thought. This is Journey Again 6. Talk to you later. <laughs>